Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, we will discuss the sample size for estimating population mean. So, kung napanood nyo guys yung ating previous video about the interval estimate of population mean with known variance, alam nyo doon na yung size ng ating sample is important in estimating the population mean. Okay, so kung sakaling unknown yung ating sample size, the following formula can be used to determine our sample size. So, n is equals to z, which is the z value or the critical value, times this, the population standard deviation all over e, which is the margin of error, then squared. So, kung natandaan nyo pa guys, uh, the most commonly used confidence level are 99%. 95% and 90%. Tama? Then, yung kanilang corresponding critical value or Z value, ang 99% is may 2.575 na critical value. For 95%, we have 1.96. And for 90%, we have 1.645. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Find the minimum sample size required to estimate an unknown population mean using the following given data. So, letter A, confidence level is equals to 95%. Our margin of error is equals to 75 and the standard deviation is equals to 250. So, since uh, given naman yung ating confidence level, which is 95%, ibig sabihin, determine natin guys yung ating critical value or yung ating Z value. Tama? So, the corresponding Z value when the confidence level is equal to 95% is 1.96. Okay, so next, pwede na natin i-compute yung ating sample size by using our formula uh, critical value times our standard deviation all over E, then square. Tama? Then, ang ating critical value is equals to 1.96 times the standard deviation which is 250 all over the margin of error which is 75. Then, E square natin to. Okay, so using our calculator, so lalabas dito na ang ating sample size is equals to 42.68. But since we are talking about uh, sample, so kailangan natin siyang i-round off to whole number. Okay, so therefore, n is equals to 43. So that means the minimum sample size required to estimate an unknown population using the given data above is 43. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 2. So, the given are the confidence level, which is 90%, the margin of error, which is 0 0.891, and variance, which is equals to 9. So, again, so since the level of confidence is 90%, so our critical value or the Z value is equals to 1.645. Okay? So again, our formula to get the uh, minimum sample size required is equals to the quantity of the Z value times our standard deviation all over E squared. Tama? So, since wala tayong standard deviation, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin gamitin yung ating variance to find the value of our standard deviation. Okay? So, that is standard deviation is equals to the square root of variance. So, ang variance natin is equals to 9. So, that is equals to positive 3. Tama? So, ngayon, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula. So, n is equal to the quantity ng ating uh, z value, which is 1.645, times the standard deviation, which is 3, 
all over E, so that is 0 0.891, then squared. Okay, so using our calculator, N is equals to 30.68. So again, since this uh, sample or sample size, it should be a whole number. Tama? So N is equals to 31. Okay, so that means na the sample size required or the minimum sample size required is equals to 31. So let's have another example, letter C. A researcher wants to estimate the daily expenses of college students. So he wants 99% confidence level and a 40 margin of error. So how many students must he randomly select if it in the previous survey, the standard deviation is equal to 99.50. So again, our first step is to find the value of the critical value. Okay, nung ating Z value. So since our confidence level is equal to 99%, so yung ating critical value is equal to 2.575. Okay? The next, we can now use our formula to find the minimum required sample, which is equals to the critical value times the standard deviation all over the margin of error squared. So, ang ating critical value dito is 2.575 times the standard deviation which is 99.50 all over the margin of error, which is 40, then squared. Tama. So, using our calculator, that is equals to 41.028. So, dito guys, um, pag magra-round off tayo, since uh, ang usapan dito is sample size, it should be whole number. Tama. So, kahit na less than 0.5 yung ating decimal, Iko consider natin yan as one sample. So that means lagi tayong rounded up. Okay? So n is equals to 42. Nakuha guys? Again, always round up the answer to the nearest integer. Okay? So the minimum sample size required to estimate an unknown population is 42. Nakuha? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba kunin yung required or the minimum sample size required to estimate an unknown population. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!